Dia Feel this one Look Born in the ghettos inside Detroit where most be feeling hopeless So so many turn to drugs just so they can cope with The fact that we oppressed and nobody noticed that our families in shambles in our hoods he wrote it Even the prophets wrote it Down in the holy scriptures That we be cursed in the city You don't get the picture Our ancestors had collars When caught by shippers It's generational They dog us out every litter Not alive and living color It's me and my brothers We don't mess with white chicks Not even undercover I told my fam Don't be a menace It's a low down dirty game The way they doing our people It's a low down dirty shame We used to hit the block And be on the corner with the work Now we take the gospel to the four corners of the earth, haters words don't hurt, they just don't compute, actions speak louder than words, y'all must be mute. drive-by, killed by her own people, you got to look and see, why is this happening to us? Where are the leaders at? Where are the black leaders at uh, showing our people the way, giving our people a better example? We don't have any. There's no leaders out here now. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Mm. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. God got a controversy with the Israelites. Why? Because we became a sinful people. By swearing and lying. By swearing lying come on and killing and doing what and killing and killing each other they break out and blood touches blood black on black crime what are we reading the bible mm. showing you what happens to us when we go away from god's commandments for among my people are found wicked men. wicked men why are all these men wicked because they are lacking god's laws it's the time that you be a man and rise up for your people seriously you cannot be a real man or a real man without keeping god's laws right. it's negative Live here with some illustrious guests, right? Now. Illustrious, illustrious, illustrious guests. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, I had to tap into the vocabulary. <laughs> 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 no, black words. Yes, we here uh, all the way from all over the world. <laughs> 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 we have the captains of IUIC, Captain Mattathias. Hey, shalom, shalom, Israel. Most sign Christ bless. Hey, shalom, viewers out there. You are the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans scattered abroad throughout the diaspora. You, in fact, are the children of Israel, according to the scriptures. That's right. That's right. Captain Israel. Hey, shalom, shalom, Israel. Most sorry, Christ. Bless. Hey, we, we here on this uh, live radio show. We trying to wake up our people so we can go back home. Right. That's right. And uh, all the way from Africa himself, oh, damn. Captain Joel. <laughs> right, you're from there. Captain from there, Joel. Hey, shalom, shalom, Israel. Most sign Christ. Bless. Trading off the captivity. Trading off the slave trade. Hey, this message is for you. Just make sure you don't uh, change the China. A lot of stuff going to come out for your benefit, spiritual group, okay? All praise to the most I got. And also, by the way of Detroit and Canada, yeah, 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 yeah. we got Big Red, you already know the vibes, Officer man. Azaziah. You already know the vibes. All praise to the most High God. I'm honored to be here with the mighty leadership of IUIC. Yes, ready to blaze the airways. You ain't never heard nothing like this in your life, baby. Mm. Turn the radio up. Oh, praise. And I am Samson T. We got a beautiful show in for you guys today. Uh, we gonna open up with some Detroit news, you know what I'm saying? Crime in the D. You know, uh, we got an article uh, for you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna read it because I'm not the best reader. But uh, luckily, Big Red is here. <laughs> yes, 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 I got you. So, uh, Detroit Happenings. 11-year-old girl shot and killed while attending sleepover in Detroit. Dang. Mm -hmm. Two young adults arrested on the scene. Mm -hmm. The shooting happened on Goldburn Avenue and Collingham Drive around 10.15 p.m. on Saturday night. The child was sleeping when shots rang out. Officials say there were six children and two adults in the home. Police say they are investigating the incident to see if the house was arrested, excuse me, if the house was targeted 
or was in the crossfire of stray bullets as they came through the back of the home. Police said on Sunday that two people, an adult and then a minor, were in police custody. Mm, mm, mm. So that's a heavy thing. I want to uh, get a couple words from the captains on what they think about that story, especially because Detroit being a place of such a high crime rate, right. uh, such uh, violence going on, and particularly our people. A lot of people don't know is over 80% people here in Detroit are like either black or Hispanic. You know, blackity black. Blackity black. And so most of the time when these things happen, is a product of gang violence, mm -hmm. drugs, right. uh, and those that are affected is people who don't even partake in that lifestyle. So, Captain, what, what do y'all think about what we just read? Hey, I, I, I want to say this. Y'all y'all might be thrown back by what I'm saying, but just just bear with me. Give me a minute. Um, I'm going to come right back to the story. Y'all remember that movie, Book of Clarence, right? Mm -hmm. There was a lot of uproar, everybody saying, oh, blasphemy, and... Right. You know, Clarence was smoking unlawful herbs, mm -hmm. you know, getting high and all of that. It's like, man, y'all making a mockery, rah, 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 rah. Are we really? Because when you look at our situation, you said 80% of the population here in Detroit is our people. Last time I checked, majority of our people on the corner right. selling their bodies, yeah, right. selling drugs, right. drive-by shootings and murders. But so when you actually see it on a big motion picture, big screen... Then it slaps you in the face and you get upset about it and you scream blasphemy. Right. But you should be screaming reality. Mm. Yep. Because that's that's exactly what was depicted in the movie Book of Clarence. What a lot of y'all don't understand is the Israelites, yes, the Book of Clarence, Christ, the Twelve, Mary Magdalene, everybody, yes, they were black people that's right. according to the scriptures. So when we read about issues like this, when we read about the young girl getting murdered in the drive-by, killed by her own people... Mm. You got to look and see, man, why is this happening to us? Why is this happening to us? I just want two quick scripts. I'm going to pass it to the captains. Give me Hosea 4. Y'all familiar with this one? Well, those who listen, they may not be familiar. So we're going to read this, and then I'm going to go to Lamentations. Just to show you, this behavior that is being exemplified in our people today, first and foremost, it's detrimental and it's chaotic. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Why would we take another life of our own people? Mm. Why would we do something like that? You think like, man, this is how I grew up, man. I'm from the hood, boom, boom, boom. Right. Bro, that's not life. You think that's life, but that's not life. We had a better life at one point. Guess who our ancestors are? King David, right. King Solomon, yep. Jesus the Christ. Understand, when King David and King Solomon li lived, they were the world superpower. Mm. This is what you got to understand. They were the world superpower, meaning what? You know, like America, how they got all the riches. Like the European nation, how they got all the riches. That was us. We think lowly of ourselves. We kill each other. We sell our bodies. We smoke. We drink uh, to the point where we pass out. Why? Because we don't think nothing of ourselves. But God is showing us that at one point we was on top. Mm. We was on top. But you know what was our downfall, right, sin? <laughs> Sin was our downfall. So we had the kingdom of all the nations. Hey, give me that real quick. Let's, go, let's do that first. Give me 1 Kings 4 and 21 to show you that in the scriptures, then to show you what we begin to do after. Mm. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 4 and verse 21. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms. Wait, 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 wait. King Solomon, what color was King Solomon? Give me Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. It's what a lot of people don't know. When you hear Solomon, you hear David uh, defeating the Goliath, you see a white boy in your head. Right. That's what you see with a slingshot. That's what you see. Why? Because your enemies gave you that depiction. But let's see what the Bible says. Read what you got. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Come on. I am black, but comely. King Solomon say, what color he is? I am black, but comely. He is black, but beautiful. Handsome. That's what the Bible says. Mm. So understand this thing right here. Guess what? If King Solomon was black... His daddy had to be black. Mm. Right. King David had to be black. And guess who came from that lineage? Jesus Christ. That's right. So it's he, black kings in the Bible, Kevin? That's all the Bible is about. Mm. Black history right. month. Mm. It's still black history month. Right. That's all it's about. That's it. Mm. Read that verse in uh, Kings again about uh, Israel having a kingdom. Yes, sir. First Kings 4 and 21. Go ahead. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms mm -hmm. from the river unto the land of the Philistines. And unto the border of Egypt. Come on. They brought presents and served Solomon. Wait a second. Wait a, white people 
Wait a second. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nilotic African tribes? Arabs? You mean to tell me? Chinese. Chinese, Chinese. Japanese? They brought gifts to us? Wait a second. Is it? No, no, no. We ain't talking about Halloween. We ain't talking about Christmas. No, 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 no. We talking about taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay? You understand? We talking about them honoring our dignitaries. Right. Our noblemen. Right. Read that verse again. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms, mm -hmm. from the river unto the land of the Philistines, and unto the border of Egypt. They brought presents and served Solomon all the days of his life. Mm-hmm. Come on. And Solomon's provision for one day was 30 measures of fine flour. This is what's his provision for one day, just to show you how wealthy we was as a people. Come on. And three score measures of meal, 10 fat oxen, and 20 oxen out of the pastures, and an hundred sheep, beside hearts and roebucks and fallow deer and fatted fowl. Mm -hmm. For he had dominion over all the region on this side, the river. So all of the natural resources, mm. all of the different fruits, the fruits, the vegetables, the nuts, the, the beast. Mm. The the trees, everything. He had access to all of that. A black man. A black man. Mm. Meaning what? When you start your own clothing company, you got to get your resources from Taiwan, China, the right. textiles. Right. No, no, no. Solomon said, hey, 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 do me a favor. Go cut that down. Make that for me. Go mm. ahead. Go ahead. Do that. Because mm. it belonged to us. Come on. For he had dominion over all the region on this side, the river, from Tipash, even to Ezra. Over all the kings on this side, the river. So go to verse 20, because y'all got to understand, we living in the hoods and the ghettos spread across North, Central, and South America today. No matter where you go, you go to Europe, you're going to see us over there in the hoods and the ghettos. You go to Africa, you go to China, mm. you go to Australia, you're going to see black people living in an impoverished situation. That's what you're going to see. Why? Because we fell away from God's commandments. Mm. But I'm showing you what we were. I'm showing you what we were so we could do what? So we can repent and get back to that. Read what you got. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. Judah and Israel were many. So it say, blacks and Hispanics, we were many. Come on. As the sand which is by the sea in multitude. Uh-huh. Eating and drinking. We was eating and drinking, living it up. Because we ruled the earth. Go ahead. And making merry. And we was happy. We wasn't depressed. We wasn't getting beat by, uh, abused by our parents. Right. We wasn't seeing mama get beat down. Right. Mm -hmm. Passing out in the hallway. We wasn't seeing that. Right, right. That was not our reality. But it's our reality today. Right. Why? Go to uh, Hosea 4 and start at verse 1. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Mm -hmm. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. God got a controversy with the Israelites. Why? Because we became a sinful people. Mm -hmm. Read. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Come on. By swearing and lying. By swearing Lying, come on. And killing. And doing what? And killing. And killing each other. Come on. And stealing. Uh-huh. And committing adultery. They break out and blood toucheth blood. Black on black crime. What are we reading? The Bible. Mm. Showing you what happens to us when we go away from God's commandments. Lamentations 2 and 1. And then caps, y'all got it. Yes, sir. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 1. Go ahead. How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion? We the daughter of Zion, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Come on. With a cloud in his anger. Uh-huh. And cast down from heaven. And cast down from heaven, meaning what? Rulership. Right. Rulership. We just read about that with King Solomon. Mm. The reason why he cast us down from rulership is why? It's because of our sins. Mm. Come on. And cast down from heaven unto the earth. Uh-huh. The beauty of Israel. The beauty of Israel. You, won't even, you can't even recognize Israel no more. All you see is niggas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we ain't, this was created in America. We had, we had a culture before we came here. Right. Come on. And remember not his footstool in the day of his anger. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end it right there. I know the captain's got something, but, you know, speaking on the behalf of the sister, it's, it's, a, it's a tragedy. I'm sick of seeing things <clears throat> like this happen to our people. But I do understand without God's commandments, without applying God's commandments in our communities, this ain't going to be the last one. This ain't the first and it's not going to be the last. It's time that we repent. Stop the killing. Stop the lying. Stop the drug abuse. Come back and start keeping God's commandments. Hey, give me, uh, hmm. give me Titus 3 and 3 real quick. Right in the same vein. We're going to stay in the same vein because our people need to hear this. Because the leaders, where are the leaders at? 
we're the black leaders at uh, showing our people the way, giving our people a better example. We don't have any. There's no leaders out here now. It's not Jesse Jackson. It's not your your uh, Al what, your Al Sharptons. Uh, your Fair any of your, no, I ain't, I ain't even mentioning no pastors because ain't no pastors reading the Bible. So what example can they give you? Mm. Right. No leaders, Captain. Yeah, no leaders. Give me. Uh, you got that? Titus three and three. Titus chapter three verse three. Read. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So we're not sitting here telling you something we don't know. We wasn't born in this Bible. We heard the word and we came back to God. Right. So that, that's the difference between your pastors out there now. They're not doing that. Mm. They're sitting behind the pulpit taking your money. The best, the best building in your community is your church. Mm. Where's all your money going? Mm. You got people working nine to fives, putting their money in somebody else's basket, feeding somebody else's house, and you can't even feed your own house. Mm. Read. Disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, Hateful and hating one another. So we hate each other. And who taught us how to hate each other? Our enemy. Right. Our enemy showed us how to be this way. And they thrive on our ignorance. They thrive on the fact that we don't know any better. And, and until we know better, we can't do better. Give me that, uh, go to Leviticus 19. Let's show, let's show the pastors how to do it. Because I'm going to show it to you in the New Testament where Christ gave us the word. And I'm going to show you in the Old Testament where Moses read it to us and we disobeyed him. Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. And thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You should mm. do no what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You don't hate white people. Mm. Black people do not hate white people. Right. You love them the most. They are the safest people in your neighborhood. Right, right now, yeah. there's a white person in your neighborhood thanking it, thanking you ain't lying. They, thanking you for being such a good neighbor. They walk in the wood with right they, they, smiling. They, they will, they, they, you will smile at white people and show them all your teeth. Mm. Mm. They jogging by. Mm -hmm. they, they, bro, they, they, got, they got small dogs <laughs> jogging past you knowing that you ain't going to do a damn thing. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, meanwhile, your brother scuff your shoe, step on your shoe by accident. You ready to kill him, his mama, his father, his kids, and everybody he loved. And mm -hmm. his 11-year-old sister. And Dang. his 11-year-old right, right. sister sleep. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Come on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So we're supposed to be able to correct each other without hatred. Right, right. We're supposed to say, hey, bro, hey, I forgive you, bro. If I, what, what's the, what, is, what is the harm in telling the brother, hey, I'm sorry? A brother offends you, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And then we can live on and see a better day. Yep. You brothers don't understand that because there are no teachers. But guess what? It's a new day. Right. That's right. It's a new day. That's right. IUIC Detroit is on the map. That's right. right. praise. And we bringing the truth to you, Detroit. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Come on. And not suffer sin upon him. Sin is breaking God's commandments. I'm not gonna break my I'm not gonna break the commandments with my brother. We're gonna live, we're gonna dwell peacefully with each other. If we know better, we can do better. Right. Read. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. That would stop black on black crime that day. But, but since the pastors can't teach that, how can they stop crime? Crime is heavy around the church. Yeah. Mm. They sell drugs on the steps of the church. Mm. They got prostitutes on the steps of the church. Nobody knows how to do better because there's no pastors teaching better. There's no leaders teaching our people. But you got people out here now with the Bibles open and God's word in their mouth. And we're going to give you thus saith the Lord. And there's nobody that can stop that. Mm. Absolutely. Hey, this all those things that's coming out is very heavy. All those things was written by our forefathers, all black men, all black men. It gave me Job eight in there real quick. Yes, sir. The book we're of Job. Go stay in the same vein. The book of Job, chapter eight, verse eight. For inquire, I pray thee. That's what we all gotta do. The black, Hispanics, and Native American, we all gotta inquire. A lot of times we don't like to read at all. That's why we live a clueless life. Mm -hmm. We live a yodo life. Because what, what our, our learning is the television, BET, MTV, all those things, that's what we instill in our mind. Therefore, we don't know right. We always know wrong. Because what we get our, our, our knowledge from, our sexy red, Damn. all those filth you see on the television, that's what we train your daughters. What, STD knowledge? Oh, yeah, STD Damn. knowledge. All what? those things. Last time I heard, she was she was not ashamed that she caught the clap twice. Right. Damn. Clap two times. Multiple diseases. What the hell is this? She can give a round of applause.
Yep. And that's that's the your daughter's role models. That's mm. the kids role model. And nobody don't see anything wrong with that because we are in deep sleep and the only thing that can wake us up is God's laws. That's right. what we gotta inquire, read that. And for inquire I pray thee of the former age. Of the former age. They give us uh, uh one month for black history month. Mm. So what about all the rest of the month? It's white history month. <laughs> the hell is this? White history year. Right, right, right. 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 The hell is this? Right. And then we are separate. Just one month, the shortest month. Come on, mm. man. Read what you got. And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing to the search of our forefather, King David, Solomon, or a uh, uh, black man that uh, live a life as good example that we got to follow today. Mm. We, we, we ain't bums. We ain't bums at all. So now, going back to the crime, let's go to uh, Jeremiah real quick. Yes, sir. Jeremiah 5, read verse thir uh, 26. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 26. Come on. For among my people are found wicked, wicked men. Wicked men. Why are all these men wicked? Because they are lacking God's laws. God, the understanding. Because God's laws is pure. It's perfect. It make you a good man. It make a whoremonger a married man. It make a sister that's a tot or married woman. That's how what it you, what is. What you say, Kat? What you, what you call it? A tot. A tot. <laughs> a tot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> no, no, I'm good with that. Say it again. Some potatoes, potatoes. Jeremiah five twenty six. For among my people are found wicked men. That's all we have in the hood. That's why the hood is not even safe for a black man, but it's safe for the other nations, though. That's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Come on. They lay wait. They, they do what? They lay wait. They lay wait for their own brother, so mm -hmm. a, 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 a young sister can be a victim mm -hmm. by a crime she didn't commit. By things she don't even know nothing about. Mm -hmm. That's that's the news in the hood every day. Just another day, another stat. Come on. It's he that set his snares. They set a trap. They set a trap. They catch men. And it's going to kidnapping as well. Our brothers participate in those things. Mm -hmm. Do anything for the money. They know not. Oh, they don't know right. They'll go to the previous chapter, chapter four, read verse twenty-two. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. And that's why the Lord said this about our people. Come on. For my people is foolish. Our people are foolish. Foolish. Lacking God's laws. Come on. They have not known me. We have not known God. So if the if uh, the Bible is saying we have not known God, who have we been knowing? The damn devil the Bible speak mm -hmm. of. That's the white image we worship. We have different spirit that's on us, man. I'm telling you. That's why the Lord said, why should you make you clean? Take away the evil of your doing. All, our, all the philosophy, the knowledge we know right now today was taught to us by our oppressor, the so-called white man. Mm. So now it's the time that 2024, nobody should be confused. No black man should be going to a damn club talking and trying to pull his pants down. And that stuff is done the way with, man. I'm telling you. Mm. Seriously. It's the time that you be a man and rise up for your people. Seriously. You cannot be a real man or a real man without keeping God's laws. Right. Yes, it's sir. negative. Hey, Cap. Can I say something? What you just say? You say you cannot be a real man without keeping God's commandments. Proverbs 14 and 16. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 16. Because a real man is not a simp. Right. That's right. A real man is not a whoremonger. Right. You, your, your sex could be male, but that don't make you a real man according to these scriptures. Right. Okay, read what you got. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 16. Go ahead. A wise man feareth. It say, a wise man, he feareth. Come on. And departed from evil. You see that? That's what a real man would do. He wise, meaning what? He applies God's commandments. He he uh, he rolls in the commandments, meaning what? He has a beard. He wears fringes and a border of blue. He has one wife, not multiple hoes. Right. You understand? Read the verse again. A wise man feareth. And departeth from evil. And departeth from evil. Come on. But the fool rageth. But the what? But the fool rageth. The fool rageth. He's emotional. Right. Oh, you stepped in my shoes. I'm a kid. That's right. that's a that's a fool according to the scriptures. Right. That's a boy. Right. You understand? Right. That right. does not make you a man. That's what the white man wants you to do. Right. Hey, Cap, Cap, no, it's crazy about what you just said. Now, imagine if we actually felt that way against the other nations when they did oh, wow. stuff to mm. us. Mm. You're only that way. You're only tough yep. against, against your, your own people. Mm. Against your own people. That comes from slavery. That's yep. a slave yep. mindset. Hey, give me that uh, Proverbs 3. You finish with that, Cap? Go ahead, go ahead. Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 3. Start you start real forgiving with the oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, you are forgiving. the you are the most forgiving yep. the mm. people that you, put us in the hood mm. we forgive them. what's the name Amber Geiger uh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Amber Geiger yeah. don't forget about the black security woman that was stroking her hair mm -hmm. for don't forget 
what Amber Geiger did. She killed Betham Jean mm -hmm. on his couch while he was eating ice cream in his own apartment. In his own apartment. Yeah. She shot him in cold blood. And you got the Negro woman going over and stroking her head. It's going to be all right, white, white angel. Hey, the, the, hell cat, is this? Cat, the, the brother, the brother, the brothers, he stopped the trial. Can I just hug her? Yeah. Hey, can, can. Oh, uh, uh, black people, right? The whole grudge is in family for years. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, and it's yeah. traditional. Yeah. For years. Yeah. But yeah. once the so-called white man or the nation do something to them, they forget it instantly. Mm. Mm -hmm. right? mm. Tell me that's not sick people. That's yeah. sick. sick. If the white, the white woman killed me and my brother hugged, Oh, in Lord. Court, I need one of y'all just drop kicking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, his, his days is numbered. <laughs> know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Mm. So it, the Bible says that we're supposed to trust in the Most High God. Your own heart is talking about your mind. It's not talking about the muscle in your chest mm. pumping blood. So know that first. Is that it's talking about your mind. Your mind is your heart. That is the heart of your, uh, your body. Read mm. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, Read. and lean not unto thine own understanding. The reason we lean on our own understanding is because we don't have teachers. We have been failed generationally. Generations of men have failed our people. It's not just this generation, the generation before that, the generation before that. It went all the way back to slavery. They took our knowledge from us. They took everything that made us who we were. And turns you into a brute beast. Mm, right. Now yeah, we just yeah. walking around not knowing who we are. You got a grown ass man, 2024, with your pants hanging off your ass. Right. Showing your ass to the world. You got women that, that basically don't have any clothes on and tell you that they want to be respected. Right. How can right. you be respected and you don't even have respect for yourself? Tell me about mm. it. Keep mm -hmm. reading. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. In some of your ways. In all thy ways. If we actually followed the Bible the way, it's, with, the way it was written, bro, we would have no issues. Mm -hmm. We would be on top of the world right now. We would be the controlling power of the world. But Cap, if, yes, don't it, it, uh, all people say they're Christian, though? Oh, no, no, no. John 3, 16, verse 1. Oh, damn. The shoes. Hey, we, 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 we got We going to sell those in Detroit. Right. John 3, 16. We got a brother with the J 3, 16. Hey, speaking of some shoes, I'm sorry. Yep, yep. You know Trump just dropped a new sneaker. Right? That's, what I'm, yes, that's why I brought it out. Yes, Bruh, sir. That's why but, I brought it out. But you got black people selling the sneaker out. This is Trump who said, let's make America great again. You do understand right. what make America great again. That means putting your black self back in slavery. Mm -hmm. Putting a chain around your neck. Bro. But Trump dropped some new some new sneakers, and the black people go crazy, and y'all sell the man's sneakers out. Cap, yeah. they need something to wear with their mega hats, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you got a mega hat on your heart. Read. Read, read what you got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, verse 6, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. So if we follow the commandments the way the Most High gave it to us, we would be on the top of the world, Israel. You hear what I'm saying? Mm. You Right now, you, you, you're you you thinking about Monday. Right now, you're thinking about Monday and how you're going to please your boss. Mm -hmm. And how you're going to put in 80 hours this week. Mm. How you want to squeeze in some overtime. Mm. Because we don't have the understanding of the Bible. Mm. Read. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. If we fear the Lord, we would depart from what they gave us. Mm -hmm. Because everything they gave us is evil. Your music is evil. Mm -hmm. Your clothes is evil. The, 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 the images that they put on TV, evil. Evil communication all over the place. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure that you stay indoctrinated. They never give you a break. From the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, you're on your phone being indoctrinated. Facebook, Twitter, everything is mm -hmm. to indoctrinate you and keep you in this docile state. That's it, Cap. Whoever controls the information, controls the minds. Controls the world. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, I got a book. You say whoever controls the information. Let me pull up this book real quick. Uh, you know, I got to have books as like precepts sometimes. Come on with the books. Let me, yeah, let me pull up. it up. This is from the International Jew. All right, the International Jew. Uh, okay, so from written by Henry Ford. Where we at, Detroit? Mm. Yes, Ford, Ford oh, was damn. in Detroit, right? Yeah. Indeed. So this is from Henry Ford. It's uh, titled The International Jew. Mm. This is page six. It says, this little book is the partial record of an investigation mm. of the Jewish question. It is printed to enable interest, interested readers to inform themselves on the data published in the Dearborn Independent prior 
to October 1st, 1920. So it's showing you how far this book goes back, all right? Now watch this. This is on page 9, second paragraph. It says, Jews are the largest and most numerous landlords of residents' property in the country. So they own everything. Mm. You know, when it comes to real estate, they, they got the monopoly on that, all right? So it goes on to say, they are supreme in the, in the theatrical world. The theatrical world, talking about movies. Right. Hollywood. Yeah. So it's theater. Oh, yeah. It's showing you that the, the Amalek, they're not the real Jews. I'm going to let y'all know that. They are not the real Jews. Right. The blacks and Hispanics, we are the real Jews according to the Bible. Right. Right. All right. So it says, they are supreme in the theatrical world. They absolutely control the circulation of publications throughout the country. Mm -hmm. So just like the cap said, they're the ones who control all the media. They're the ones who control all of what we see on TV, all of the newspapers, everything that we hear, all the information going out, they feed it to our people. Okay. Yes, sir. They control porn, yes, all, there the, you all go. the magazines, yep. everything in filth. They mm -hmm. control mm -hmm. them. Mm. Hey, real quick, I, I said something. Give me Revelation 2 now. Bring it out. I said something. You said, you said something, Cap. Yes, sir. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Go ahead. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. God said he know our works, our tribulation, and poverty. Last time I checked, we the poorest nation on earth. On earth. Yep. That's yep. us. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The, the scriptures call us the poor of the earth. Mm -hmm. All right? Read it again. And I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Go ahead. I know, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews uh -huh. and are not. And are what? And are not. And are not. And are not, but what are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. But are the synagogue of Satan. Let me show you something. Give me Ezekiel 35 and 10. Read down to verse 12. I'm going to show you something really quick. All right, these people who profess to be the Jews, the people of God, the Bible is telling us that they are liars. Right. Think about it. How do you know what a Jew is except it come from the Bible? Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. How would you know what a Jew is? Right. Now watch this. We're going to show you something. Watch this. Ezekiel 35 and 10. Oh, start at verse 1, then jump to 10. Verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir. Mount Seir was what you would call present-day Petra. Okay? Edom. Okay? These are the cave dwellers. Who used to live there? Your friendly neighborhood white people right. who migrated from my, Mount Sierra to the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Mm. Hence, Caucasian. Right. Learn something. Read a book. That's right. Mm. Okay. Read the Bible again. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir mm -hmm. and prophesy against it. God say prophesy against these people. Let's find out why. Start at verse 9. Watch this. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. I will make thee perpetual desolation. God says he's going to make... This particular nation, Idumia, Edom, so-called Europeans, okay? He's going to make them perpetual desolations. Come on. And thy cities shall not return. And they shall not return like they did during the Renaissance. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Uh-huh. Because thou hast said. Because this nation said. All right? It ain't just one, two. It's all of them. They all agreed with it. They all agree with this thing. Come on. Because thou hast said these two nations mm -hmm. and these two countries. It says they said these two nations, meaning... Judah and Israel. Who are the Israelites? They said these two nations, read. <laughs> and these two countries. And these two countries. What's the two countries? Israel and America. Who originally dwelt in Israel? Us. Right. The real Jews. Right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Who originally dwelt in America? Us. The Northern Kingdom. The uh, the Seminole Indians. You understand? The uh, Chickasaw. All of the different tribes of Indians, that's us. That's our people. We're the same people. Read the verse again. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. They said they're going to take over the Israelites and change our color from black to pale. That's what they said. And then they said they're going to take over the land of Israel and take us out of it. And they're going to live there. And they're going to kill, come to America and kill 90% of the indigenous people and say, uh, manifest destiny. Mm. Mm. That is what they said. We didn't make this up. Nope. We just reading the Bible. That's it. And backing it up with historical fact. That's right. That's read it. the Bible. Read the verse again. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries mm -hmm. shall be mine. Come on. And we will possess it. And they that's what they said. Don't forget what the, what was established after World War II, the European Union. And what took place in 1948? 
uh, that stemmed from that uh, was the um, the Jew, Jew, the Jewish state being established through the approval of the Balfour Declaration. Yes, sir. Don't forget. Come on. And we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. As if the what? As, whereas the Lord was there. Meaning what? They would possess these lands as if God agreed with it. Mm. As if they are the people of God. No, they're not. The Bible just said, and are not. Right. Let's read on. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God. Come on. I will even do according to thine anger mm -hmm. and according to thine envy. Which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. That's what it is. They hate us. They obsess with us. Everything they do, uh, I guarantee we're the topic of discussion. Right. Oh, yeah. All right. Think about it. They hate our hairstyle. They right. hate our skin. Right. But yet, no, they, they, they hate our guts, but they want to be like us. They right. want to take our style in clothes and dress. Right. They want to take our style when it comes to music. They want to take our style in everything, in cooking. You understand? Read that verse again. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger mm -hmm. and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. Watch this. And I will make myself known among them mm -hmm. when I have judged thee. Read. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies. All thy what? All thy blasphemies. Blasphemy, that's a religious lie. Right, right, right. <laughs> God said he heard all of the blasphemy coming from which nation? The Europeans. Come on. Which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel. Which you spoken against us. Come on. Saying they are laid desolate. They are given us to consume. That's the Balfour Declaration. It's like now it's time for them to go into the land. That's what they're saying. They said it was okay for them to go into the land. Now go back to Revelation 2 now. Yes, sir. The book of Revelation. Chapter 2 and verse 9. Because we want to set the record straight. They are not the biblical Jews. Right. You are the biblical Jews, and they don't want you to know that. Mm. When you know who you are, there is power. Mm. I'm sorry. Hold that. Give me Ecclesiastes <laughs> 9 and 18. You know, the Spirit, yeah. <laughs> the Spirit is moving you. Can. Watch this. Ecclesiastes 9 and 18. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9 and verse 18. Can I ask y'all a question? Who the most powerful nation on the face of the earth when it comes to military, Mike? Who is that? America. 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 Why? America. Why? America. No, why? America. Remember what he did to Hiroshima and Nagasaki during the World War II? Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. Ain't nobody want to mess with America since then. All right. So watch this, read this. Was, uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 18. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. Wait a second, wait a second. Mm. The Bible just said wisdom is better than weapons of war. Mm. The Bible just told you, black man, Hispanic man, that you knowing that you're an Israelite is more powerful than America's nuclear weapons. Mm. Yeah. Where the, drop the bomb on that. Oh. Oh. I hope you understand that. <laughs> I hope you understand that. You knowing who you are is more powerful than the nukes. Why? Because once we wake up, once you wake up to who you are, they can't stop. It's going to be like a domino effect. Right. Once we wake up, start keeping God's commandments, then that's the end of their kingdom. That's right. Mm. Now, we got to go back and finish. I'll give it to y'all, Captain. But go back and finish that Revelation 2 now. Y'all got it. <laughs> Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. That's us. God knows our works, tribulation and poverty. Go ahead. But thou art rich. But we rich. Come on. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. They liars. They, God said he know they lying. Come on. And are not. They are not the Jews according to the Bible. Read. But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the devil. The Bible speaks of it. That's right. That's right. Hey, I got a book real quick. I got to follow my Bring captain full step, man. Come on. I got a book. It's a uh, hot. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> How the Jews invented Hollywood, an empire of their own by mm. Neo uh, Gambler. Mm. So I'm going to go into the book. The first page. It said the American dreams. You see it a lot in the black comedy. Mm -hmm. The American dream. It's a, it's a Jewish invention. Mm -hmm. Damn. 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 So what we believe in, they invented that. <laughs> Gosh, damn. <laughs> Your dreams is invented by them. <laughs> by them. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Nigga can't dream. You I can't even have a goddamn <laughs> dream. <laughs> that is still in stealing my dream. <laughs> damn. You got that too. <laughs> hey, check this out. Page seven. They say American values came to the define largely by the movies the Jews made. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, by creating their idea, uh, idealized American America on the screen. Mm -hmm. 
the Jews reinvented the country in the image of their fiction. Mm. Damn. Mm. So they recreated everything on how they want it to be. Mm. That's what Daniel said. They're going to try to establish the vision. That's why you see what uh, Passion of the Christ, all mm. those things. Yep. They try to establish a vision, but they shall fall. Everything you think, black man, it came from so, them. So even the the hood black man, him being over aggressive and mm -hmm. him uh, want to shoot, and the image we always see on TV, that even came from them. Mm -hmm. That's, That's that image yep. that we That's emulating. Yep. Yep. That came That's from it. him. And we chasing after the vision that they made us follow. Mm. Yep. Hey, Dang. Remember all the gangster movies came out, mm -hmm. and then yeah. all the rappers want to be gangsters. The niggas with attitude. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. They, the hood, they, 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 know, they the actually the took on Italian names trying to be gangsters. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So even even in your imagination. It belongs to them. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, right, right. You seen that mm -hmm. in uh, they clone Tyrone? Yes. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. clone. They showed just how they made the Negro in the lab and forced him to be exactly. You what they are want. a project and an experiment, Negroes. That's why you live in a project. Why do black people love mafia movies, The Godfather? Right. Why do Why do we Why do our people glorify that? Right. Mm -hmm. Understand the real gangster? It ain't you, black man. Right, it's right. the white man. Right. right. He's the real robber. He's the real thief. He's the real get down or lay down. Mm. Right. Hey, you know, it's crazy. I'm in Detroit. You know, you know, I grew up a big uh, Motown fan. Uh-oh. Oh, but, uh, you know, the Jacksons, they had a movie, you know. It was the Jacksons' American Dream. Mm. Yeah, uh, it was. It was called the Jacksons' yeah. American oh, Dream. Take us back. And in the movie, it just showed you Joe Jackson. He had a vision for his family, and he was going to get that no matter what. Mm -hmm. He was a failed musician, former boxer, but he saw his kids had a gift, and he pushed them to get what Esau said is the is the better life. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sorry. I'm just... we on the radio. It's all right. But that's yeah. what it is. That's what we do. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. Kanye and T-Pain, they had a track years ago called The Good Life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all know that. But they sampled... I forgot what track they sampled. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they sampled like Michael Jackson or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I'm trying to precept it together. <laughs> but <laughs> bring it home, Cap. It had a, had a song called "The Good Life," but it just shows you we literally think that what we see on TV is the good life. Mm. That's not the good life. The good life is this. Give me second Ezra seven. This one mm. just came. This is the good life. Okay. Sure. Second Ezra chapter seven, and um, give me verse fifty-five. Teach the people, Cap. The book of Second Ezra. Chapter 7 and verse 55. Come on. And that the faces of them which have used abstinence shall shine above the stars, mm -hmm. whereas our faces shall be blacker than darkness. You know what the abstinence is going into? The root word of abstinence would be abstain. Mm -hmm. So it's saying those who abstain from sin, they shall shine above the stars. So when you what? That's the good life right there. Right. Because these people, they're going to have life eternal. While... Kanye T. Payne, if they continue chasing the white man's American dream, right, right. they're going to have damnation. Mm. Mm. Okay? Is there some more on that? Yes, sir. Yeah, read verse 56. Verse 56. For while we lived and committed iniquity, we consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. Chasing that American dream, that's exactly what's going to take place. You are going to suffer for everything that you've done in this life. All of the sins that you committed, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 real quick, all the sins that you committed in this life, you're going to have to pay for that thing in the afterlife, right. in the second life. Right. Read. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. Mm -hmm. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. According to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Right, whether it be good or bad. Now, check this out, and I'm going to give it up again. Now, when it comes to that American dream, what's crazy is that American dream that our people are chasing and losing their lives for, that dream in itself is a dream. Mm -hmm. Here, IUIC Radio. We taking over Detroit and Highland Park area. If you listening, call in. Call in immediately. As I stated before, we here with our illustrious guest, the captain <laughs> from all over, from, from, from Florida, from Atlanta, by way of New York, from Ohio, by way of... Uh, Africa. Uh, <laughs> the whole we, continent. We got the, we got, we got the whole continent. <laughs> uh, we here, we here again. And I, 
that was a question I had for you, Kevin Miller. Like, concerning that American dream, I want like, can you go deeper into that? Because I was thinking about that myself. Like, the American dream, like, what really is that for black people? The American dream is a lie. Mm. So let's go to Jeremiah. I was trying to see. See, I, see, I said I wanted one script when I came back. Now he look at what he's doing. <laughs> Watch this. Give me the book of Jeremiah, chapter uh, 50, verse 35. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 35. Mm -hmm. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, saith the Lord. Right. So when you read Chaldeans in the scriptures, uh, it's talking about a particular nation. Hold that for me. Give me the book of Ezra, chapter 5, verse 12. All right, so who are the Chaldeans according to the scriptures? All right, let's find out. Ezra 5 and 12. Ezra 5 and 12. But after that, our fathers had provoked the God of heaven unto wrath. Mm -hmm. He gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, and the king of Babylon. The king of who? The king of Babylon. Read. The Chaldean. The Chaldeans, all right. These are Babylonians. Chaldean, Chaldeans, that's what, that's what it means, okay? Go back to Jeremiah 50 and verse 35. Jeremiah 50 and 35. Watch this. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. and upon the inhabitants of Babylon. When you read in the scriptures, when you read in the scriptures, give me the book of Revelation chapter 17. Okay? A lot of people get scared when they go uh, to the book of Revelation. They talk mm -hmm. about that's the end time. It's a little scary. Mm -hmm. Well, it's only scary for those who's living in the midst of sin. Right. right. All right. But for us, we get excited when we go to the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to show you Babylon in the book of Revelation. Read verse 5. Revelation chapter 17, verse 5. Uh-huh. Upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, mm -hmm. the mother of harlots, and the and abominations of the earth. Right, everybody comes here to get rich. Mm -hmm. All right, it's the abominations of the earth. Think about what goes on in, in Babylon, same-sex marriage. Mm-hmm. What is Babylon? The United States of America. Some people say, no, no, no. Babylon, that's that's uh, Iraq. Okay. All right. We're coming right back. So give me Isaiah 13 and 19. Okay. Let's just say, if uh, you, you say Babylon's Iraq, let's, let's find out. Okay. Yes, that's ancient Babylon. Absolutely. But that's not present day Babylon. Watch this. Isaiah 13, 19. Mm -hmm. And Babylon. The glory of kingdoms. It says the glory of kingdoms. Come on. The beauty of the Chaldees. Uh-huh. Excellency mm -hmm. shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Think about, think about what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Fire and brimstone, brimstone came down and destroyed the whole land to the point where it was in, in uninhabitable. Mm, right. Okay? So you mean to tell me that we go to the book of Revelation 17 and you saying that that's... I, that you saying that's Iraq. Last time I checked, Iraqis is living in Iraq today. Right. So the Babylon that the Bible's talking about is not Iraq. It's not Iraq. It's talking about a future prophecy of a land that's going to be uninhabitable. That's what it's talking about. So let's go back to Jer not Jeremiah, but Revelation. Pick up at verse 5, then we're going to jump down. Revelation 17 and 5. Mm -hmm. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great. The mother of harlots. Come on. And abominations of the earth. And abominations of the earth. Now, jump down to verse 16. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate. Remember we just read in Isaiah 13 and 19 that Babylon would be uninhabitable. So this says what? It's picking up on the same thought. It says that this future Babylon will become desolate. It will be destroyed. Those ten horns mentioned in verse 16, guess who that is? That's NATO. They are going to turn on America. As you've probably been listening and watching in the news, Trump has already predicted that. Mm -hmm. He's already said he believes if America gets into a conflict, that NATO will not back America up. Kev, you got to help them out. They, they black. They don't know what NATO is. NATO is the North Atlantic uh, Treaty Organization, and this was formulated after World War II right. to end all of the wars between the Europe nations so they would no longer war with each other. They have a financial side called the European Union, mm. and the military side is called NATO. Mm. Okay? So make sure y'all look that up. And it's, it's in the news almost every week. Right. So now you have a better understanding of what it is. So let's go back to the scriptures, verse 16. Verse 16, mm -hmm. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, 
These shall hate the whore. So that's NATO right there. And the whore is who? America. Babylon. Read. And shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. To the point where America one day is not going to be inhabited by anybody. Read. For God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will. Uh -huh. And to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. Until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Right, so they all agreed after World War II to give their kingdom to America so there could be world peace. Mm. But that was only for a dispensation of time. Now you can see the spirit is being rekindled that nah, 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 we don't really like what America's doing. Why? Because America has joined hand in hand with Israel and vetoed. The ceasefire in Gaza. Right. Mm. Right. Remember, Israel has killed over 30,000 people in Palestine. Right. So the world is coming together and say, hey, this has got to stop. But America... Israeli. Thank you. Israeli. Israelis. Right. Thank you. This has got to <laughs> stop. <laughs> this has got to stop. But guess what? America says, nah. Now, we're, we're, we're not going to agree with the ceasefire. In fact, we're going to veto it and we're going to do it again. Mm. So understand what's going on. In the earth. So that's why it's prophesied that what? NATO, the, e, uh, the European Union, they're going to turn on the whore. Read that verse, uh, verse again, verse 17. Verse 17. For God has put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Now, verse 18. Then we're going to get away from this. Watch and this. the woman which thou sawest is that great city. So remember, we read verse 5. Okay, on down. That's talking about the great whore, the mother of harlots. That's the woman. That's Babylon. Read that again. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city mm -hmm. which reigneth over the kings of the earth. So what great kingdom reigns over the countries today? Mm. The United States of America. Right. Showing you that this is in fact Babylon that the Bible speaks of. Right. Right? That's right. Now you talked about this American dream, right? I said it was a lie. Mm -hmm. So now go back to Jeremiah 50. Read where you was at. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 35. Come on. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Come on. And upon the inhabitants of Babylon. Upon the inhabitants of Babylon. Go ahead. And upon her princes and upon her wise men. Watch this. A sword is upon the liars. The what? The liars. Babylon is a damn lie. Mm. An American dream is a lie. Right. It's not real. It's just to get you caught up and distracted away from who you are and what's required of you. Give me, Jer not Jeremiah, Job 20. Because we was uh, about to go over this before we got the call. Right. Okay? To show you that it's a lie. Anything that's not forever, it's not real. Right. God's laws are forever, so that makes it real. Right. America is only going to be ruling for so long. Think about all the other great kingdoms that ruled before America. Y'all really think America going to be the top ruling class forever? Mm, right. The hell wrong with you? Mm. Have you not read history? Who raised you? Who raised you? America's living in the age of decadence. Right, right, That's right, right. Why the hell do you watch sports to get you distracted from what the hell's going on in the earth? That's right. It. That's it. Just like the Coliseum. Yeah. There you go. Bread and circuses. There you go. Why the hell do you have something called the Food Network? <laughs> you mean to tell me you spend your days watching damn people make food? <laughs> what is going on? Keep you occupied. <laughs> you don't think about those things. You watch BET all day. And just watch, well, it used to be music videos. Now they just got bad sitcoms on it. Right. Mm. You understand? Y'all don't think about that? You have no idea what life is about. Life is about you, if you didn't know that. All of the wars on the earth are fought because of you. That's right. And nuclear missiles are coming to America. Right. So it's time that you wake up out of that deep sleep and understand that America, as you know it, is not going to be here for that much longer. Mm -hmm. Read what you got. Job, chapter 20 and verse 6. Though his excellency... Start at 5 again, I'm sorry. Verse 5. Uh -huh. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. The triumphing of the wicked is short. America is obviously the wicked. What do they promote? Homosexual marriage, same-sex marriages. Okay, they kill us dead in the streets. Okay, obviously they're the wicked. Come on. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Meaning what? Their, their kingdom is not going to last forever. Come mm. on. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens. Though he go to space... You understand? Though, though he doesn't he have satellites in, in space, come on. And his head reach unto the clouds. Though the Wright brothers came up with that technology to fly and create airplanes, come on. Yet he shall perish forever. How long? Forever. I said he's going to perish forever. That's what the Bible say. I'm going with that. That's come on. Yet he shall perish forever like, like his own dung. Like his own dung. Ugh. Go ahead. They which seen him shall say, where is he? Where is he? 
He shall fly away. Wait, 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 where's the American dream? Mm. Mm. How, how, how's it going to be an American dream with America on fire? Mm. 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 Come on. He shall fly away as a dream. He shall fly away as a dream. Wait, wait, wait. You mean to tell me God is saying that the American dream is going to fly away one day? Mm. 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 Come on. And shall not be found. Yay. He shall be chased away. He as shall a, be chased away. Come on. As a vision of the night. Like a nightmare. Right. And you're going to wake up, those who are righteous, and see all your brothers and sisters in the kingdom look just like you, and be like, hey, am I tripping or did... <laughs> Damn. One day it was a bunch of red people with dirty feet and I'm just you know I'm just saying I'm just saying don't get mad at me they be walking around without their shoes you know what I'm talking about yeah a bunch of people that used to kill us dead in the streets make laws against us mm -hmm. treat us bad you mean to tell me they not they not around no more mm -hmm. and this is not a hate thing no this is just Bible this is just true this is a true campaign Bible. think about it brothers and sisters out there think about who's been giving us hell for the majority of our existence. Right. Think about it. But God is saying that their kingdom is not going to be here forever. In fact, it's going to be like a bad dream. So mm. we ought to be happy about that That's to right. the point where we ain't got to deal with that no more. Oh, praise. Oh, praise. Oh, praise to the most high God right there. That was that was good stuff. That was good stuff. Magnetos. So, we going to go we going <laughs> we going to go through some more <laughs> Some more articles concerning but, Detroit. Hey, real quick, the what came out that's heavy. I don't know if the uh, our people can actually uh, process. Yeah, fathom. Yeah, fathom. Mm. a kingdom Copy without their in. oppressor. Mm. Mm. A lot of our people can't, bro. No, they a, lot can't. Of, a lot of our two thirds of our people won't be able to. Whatever we teach on the streets, what about the white man? Right. right. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? We're teaching about, about you. We're teaching you. Teaching you. Hey, not about their mother. Mm. Not about right. their kids. Right. Not about the people that look just like them. Yeah. Not about the other nations. What about the white man? Mm. And we have no hatred against the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man. As a matter of fact, give me that Romans 12 and 17 real quick. Right, right, right. We got no hatred against them. It's just the Bible is for the Israelites. Right, right, and only right. for the Israelites. That's what it is. That's what y'all don't get. Like, so you automatically take it as racist. No, we don't. It's not racism. Right. It's just the Bible ain't for them. That's it. That's what people don't understand. Read that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Right. Do not, hey, whatever they've done to you, no, 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 God ain't telling us to go do nothing and retaliate back. No. That happened to us because we sinned. Right. Come on. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Well, it's a, just your people. All men. All nations. All we go, men. We're we going to treat all nations the right way with right. respect. All right, come on. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, Live peaceably with all men. And that's what Israel United in Christ teaches. We don't we don't teach hate against any race, ethnicity, gender, none of that. Right. All we do is bring out the scriptures and a lot of people get confused with the message. No, the Bible says what it is. We cannot sugarcoat what the Bible says. Right. Hey, Cap, they have us on the list as being a hate group when all we teaching is about is love for our people. Right. All we teach is about is love. You have you have organizations that is out there hurting people. There you go. Putting, hurting, putting hands Called on people. Called the K, K, and K. Yep. And we out here teaching love how to, for our people to come back to God's commandments. And they call us a hate group. Mm -hmm. We have caused harm to nobody and nor do we teach to cause harm to anybody. That's right. That's, That's right. because good is said is good and evil. Mm. When you see an uh, upright man is trying to structure his people from the decay state that we're in, oh, they call that man evil. They call that organization evil. That's all you see. And then some of our people without that knowledge, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, they are evil. Come on. What have we done wrong? Nothing. Right. But to teach our men to get out of the ghetto, teach our women to start being prostitutes. Is that a crime to do? Mm. Come on, we gotta open your eyes and see, man. Stop being tricked by whatsoever the so called white men put on the articles and then you read it. Oh, yeah, they are hit group. Oh, the brothers in purple, they are. Come on, right. think for yourself right. for once. Right. Jeez, man, for real. Oh, praise, oh, praise. Same thing in Africa. Thomas Sankara rise up. Mm. They say, oh, they, uh, they send CIA to kill him. They say, oh, he's, uh, he, he, he's a bad guy. Kwame Nkuma. All those people. Uh, Patrice uh, Lumumba, mm -hmm. all of them, same thing in the state. You have uh, Michael, he did the same thing. Yeah. All those names, they, they, they say they're evil. Now we have the Bible with the proper understanding, liberating our people. 
and the so-called white man said we're evil. And you so, black people then agree with him. So they basically saying Christ was evil. Right. Because mm. Christ liberated his people. Right. right. Revolutionary. Yes. That's what Christ did. Give me Luke 4 and 18. Mm. He liberated his people. That was Christ's mission, to right. liberate his people from the hands of Rome. Right. And that's what you saw in the book of Clarence. Mm. Right. right. That they call blasphemy. There you go. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, mm -hmm. to preach deliverance to the captives. To do what? To preach deliverance to the captives. Who the ones in captivity? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Mm. That's why Christ came. So if they want to call, if they want to call all of our other leaders uh, evil, that they calling Christ evil too, because he came for the same reason. He came for his people. Right, mm. right, 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 right. And that's why the the uh, they kill all those men, even yeah. those that didn't even have the the, uh, the Bible. They killed them. Mm. And that's when you see some of these uh, coon that was doing that time with uh, Mike on them that still here today. You gotta ask yourself why they ain't there yet. Mm. If they kill, if they kill the ones that hey, say that again, say that again, <laughs> Cap. Yeah, all, all, all those coons that's with uh, 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 that was with Malcolm. Well, Malcolm, why are they still alive? But they kill Malcolm. Uh oh, right. mm. you mm. gotta ask yourself that. Come on, man. They kill only they kill only one of those that will seek their people's best interest, man. Those go. that agree with the in, the enemy, they are alive to the strong and well. Look at right. look at the ones that was around Martin Luther King. Mm. The ones that was around Martin Luther King are still alive. Yep, Pootie. <laughs> no, 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 no! I was, I was going somewhere. All right, go somewhere. Go ahead. Go, ahead. I was going somewhere with it. Go ahead. And it, it was. It was called the. What was it the the Power Six? Oh yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So I wasn't. It okay, was, I was going somewhere Re retracted. with it. Bro. Retracted. Retracted. Okay, all praises. All praises. <laughs> but that's but, why J. Edgar Hoover said what he said. That's saying that's right. why I was going with mm -hmm. it. Okay, can you find that quote? Mm -hmm. Is the fact that the these people that was around these leaders. In the end times, when they woke up and they realized that it was about our people, mm -hmm. Martin Luther King's his speeches, the, the ones that's famous, were written by Jewish people. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jewish yeah, yeah. people wrote those. The ones that you don't hear about, the one that he the, the one that he recited, mm. the one that got him killed when he says, I, I basically introduced my people it's into a, a burning, burning house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the one that got him killed they because him. they saw it. Yeah. They saw him waking up and they saw him about to he was too galvanizing mm. for him to to actually be a leader and leave him in that place. He would have woke up too much people. Mm -hmm. Find that. I found two quotes. Oh, oh my I got God. one that I got one that the one that you wanted was he quoted, he said Who quoted it? This J. Edgar Cooper, Jake Edgar Hoover, and he stated his his goal was to prevent the rise of a black Messiah. Mm -hmm. And then the quote that go along with that, it says, There will never be another black Messiah unless we create him. Mm. And and that's uh, the, and that's your black leaders now. Right. Right. Those Sharpton. are your messiahs. Yeah, mm -hmm. Al Sharpton's. Ah, yeah. oh, man. In the Willie Lynch letters, we recommend that you uh, go read it. I'm quoting off the dome, but go fact check me on your own. Go do your own research. It says the, the, the plan that Willie Lynch put together, it said that it would keep us docile mm -hmm. and keep us the way we are for forever Perpetual. unless a phenomenon occurred. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are that and, and, and yeah, we are that phenomenon. Right. That's right. Yeah, we, we, not, we not your average Negro. Right. We read. We read the Bible, and the Spirit of the Lord is on us, and it's not one black Messiah, it's black Messiahs. Saviors. <laughs> Saviors. Mm. That's right, that's Saviors. right. Saviors. Give me that. Obadiah. Saviors. Yeah. Yes, sir. This heavy, this heavy information. Right. You, you should be taking notes if you're listening at home. Detroit. Mm -hmm. Highland Park. Wake up! Mm -hmm. It's high time to wake up. Obadiah. Obadiah, verse 21. And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. The kingdom shall be the Lord's. All <laughs> praise to the Most High for that. Oh, hey, and our bishop guy, he, he, one of his quotes, man, he said, during the time of all them captivity that's Israel been in, the Lord always sent men. To seek the uh, the welfare of mm -hmm. his people, mm -hmm. and then today now you see in, in our present day the Lord sent the purple and gold to seek the welfare right. of our people. That's, That's right. right. That's why when you see them, you gotta know that they they have your best interest because with sin we suffer, and when we keep God's laws. We are on a whole different level, and that's why we are here to let you know, sin will put us mm -hmm. down, and we gotta come out of this holes that we've been in because of sin, man.
Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.